For tutorials, please visit the official channel of RBD Lab Studio. For this wall simulation, I use the annotate tool to manually draw where I would like more fractures to happen and then uh, proceeded to use the standard scatter of the scatter module and then uh, fractured the chunks. And once the fracture is done, I went ahead with the, the usual RBD lab workflow with the physics module, activators, uh, the bake, particles, collisions, and the smoke. In this particular simulation, I did not use any constraints. I followed a similar workflow, which is described in the RBD lab uh, tutorials, starting from fracture to the collision and smoke. And for the activators, I chose the chunks based on the size so that the smallest of the chunks fall first and then the next largest and then eventually the largest of the chunks. For a more cinematic large scale look, I ran the entire simulation at 48 frames per second and then slowed it down to 24 frames per second. And here I also used uh, the dynamic switch tool to switch from the actual wall display to the chunks. So when we use high details, sometimes the fracture lines might be visible. So dynamic switch is a great tool to hide those lines. For example, when we go to cycles preview, and this is the low detail. Now let's change the detail to high detail, just like for a render. Now here are these fracture lines that are visible. So they shouldn't be visible until the chunks start falling. So for the first 46 frames, I used the dynamic switch so that uh, under visual switching, the original walls show up in render. And after frame 46, the fractured chunks start showing up. So this way, the render is going to be more organic. So that's how we can use the tools of the RBD Lab and especially the new RBD Lab 1.5 Metalsoft tools to create such uh, simulations. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick walkthrough. Thank you and stay tuned for more simulations.